While we often talk about artificial intelligence, there is another man-made technology ready to change our lives. It's artificial food. Work is extensively going on for producing in vitro meat in laboratories. Even Sergey Brin has funded research. And Bill Gates has also shown interest. British PM Winston Churchill envisioned this idea back in 1931. Precisely, he wrote, We shall escape the absurdity of growing a whole chicken in order to eat the breast or wing by growing these parts separately under a suitable medium. Dutch pharmacologist and professor Mark Post made first burger patty using cultured meat in 2013. That day on, we saw several startups with focus on producing meat in laboratory. Science and technology community is already super excited about this giant leap. Few startups are working to find solution for mass production in factories. First introduced, its cost was 325,000 US dollars but within two years, scientists brought down cost to $11. Now at this affordable cost, we need to make sure how people will be willing to respond to the artificial meat. A survey published in Flows 1 suggests 31% people will try in vitro meat for sure. And 34% would probably try. Today, global meat industry business is $675 billion. If anyone who can thank more for artificial meat, it's nature. Researchers from Netherlands Environment Assessment Agency found if world switches to vegetarianism, carbon emission from the grow industry would reduce by 17%, methane emission by 24%, and nitrous oxide emission by 21%. Livestock production currently accounts for 26% of ice-free land use. Scientists estimate that currently 2.7 billion hectares of grazing land and 100 million hectares of land is used for growing crops for livestock. World Economic Forum has an interesting perspective on it. Emissions for producing half a pound potatoes equals driving a small car 0.17 miles, while producing half a pound beef is equivalent to driving same car for 9.8 miles. Oxford Martin School researchers found that, if entire world switches to vegetarian diet, greenhouse gas emissions will reduce by two-thirds. Lower emissions also mean better health, and lower healthcare costs to the economy. Carolyn Maddock, of Arizona State University, has a different opinion about environmental benefits of in vitro meat. She calculated and found manufacturing chicken would result in more greenhouse gases, because ingredients would have to be heated to the body temperature. However, if widely adopted, artificial meat could have socio-economic impact as well. According to UN, livestock production is 1.4% of global GDP employing nearly 1.3 billion people. If everyone suddenly starts eating artificial meat, livelihood of these people is at risk. There are moral aspects of artificial meat as well. By producing meat in laboratories, we can save millions and millions of animals from torture. At the same time, this is going against nature, and we don't know how this will turn out. Let us know in comments, what do you think about artificial meat? And don't forget to subscribe for more informational videos.